no chance of uh, being able to really do anything across that bridge because that little bird's going to be able to pick off uh, anybody transitioning. So uh, I don't know if this is going to be live. It looks like it might be. And it is live. All right, so nine seconds left to go. We're here for the finals of the ESL Launch Cup for Dragon's Teeth. 8v8. Going to be some exciting stuff here. And we are going to be seeing Punchrel uh, using the uh, the hovercrafts. Oh, my God, Punch. You are a dirty dog. Getting over here to that alpha flag. They're going to be able to get on it very, very quickly because of that. And we do see uh, both of the Jeeps and the quads going to be coming into that B site. So they did end up capping that out very, very fast. Ash is going to be going in for a back rage here as uh, he is going to be spotted out. So they do know that there's going to be some pressure here onto that alpha flag. And where is that uh, secondary weapon going to be coming out? There it is. The Deagle. He gets him. He gets the headshot on Ducky Chan. But it is a trade out. So unfortunately, he won't be able to do much onto that flag. Uh, we are going to be seeing Alpha going over into the favor here of Thane. And uh, we will be seeing... Or I'm sorry. I have the uh, the names mixed up, so my bad. We're going to be switching that back over as, uh, yes, we will be having uh, casual gamers being able to take Alpha and Charlie currently. And nobody yet draining the water, I don't think. As we do have a lot of motion balls going to be coming out, trying to spot out as many of these players as possible. Very, very heavy infantry fight going to be gearing up. Still going to be seeing those uh, APCs going back and forth. The little bird is taken. Okay, so we're going to be seeing uh, currently Thane with a little bit of an advantage getting that air. He's got to be careful though. Oh, no, he wrecks it right into a pole. So no advantage there for the air, but massive infantry fight is going to be gearing up here for that alpha flag. Ducky Chan will be able to spot out two players, gets the hit fire spray on one. Can he get the second one? He can't. He ends up going down, and now it's going to be up to uh, Punchrel here to try and finish this out. He will be able to spot out one going into the water. This is going to be a crazy fight going back and forth. Guys, I just want to let you know right now, this is going to be really difficult to cast because of the multi-levels. But Punchrel is going to be able to take down one. Goes in here with his Unica, and he's going to be able to take down Asterix with the Unica. Crazy stuff. As they're just jumping all over the place. 207 to 243. Alpha Flag uh, was getting contested there for a few seconds, but unfortunately, just uh, too much for, uh, for Thane. And we do have uh, Neo right now. Up top, probably going to be draining out that water. Uh, sea flag still going to be getting contested. Uh, we do have Valutaja. Uh, as you do know, stingers don't kill tanks, right? As uh, <laughs> I think he's just hoping, he's wishing that at some point when he pulls out the, the rocket, it's going to be a small or something. But uh, Valutaja with a nice CZ kill from up top, playing very, very defensively. And uh, here we go. The water is drained, so we should see that alpha flag being a little bit easier to con uh, to contest right now. And it's really going to be up to uh, really going to be up to Thane here to try and make something happen. Uh, they are going to be coming back over here to spawn, as uh, we do see three players up for Thane onto that B site. We do have Mort in the LAV. He's going to be in a very good position to uh, potentially push that B flag if he wants to. Doesn't look like he is going to be doing just that, but that little bird is going to be back up here as uh, Mort is forced to retreat. Do we have any drops going off? We do. David 2K is going to be dropping back in onto this Charlie flag. And he is currently winning the burn. So uh, where is the rest of the team? We do have Ducky Chan down below. He's playing this very, very passively. Nice pick up there onto Duke PT. 157 to 240. They need to get something going on right now and stop this bleed. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. Almost a 100 ticket deficit in favor of Thane. But uh, as we say, that, uh, that C flag will be going over into the possession of uh, Thane and Slams are going to be coming back out. Casual gamers are all up inside of the, the parking garage at the moment. Unfixed will be able to come around. Nice pick up there onto Marsu. He's going to be able to get a two-piece there onto Safe as well. So nice shots coming in here for casual gaming. David 2K is still going to be up and alive. Moore is going to be playing very passively here. He's not really wanting to get too aggressive up top. He doesn't have to get too aggressive up top. Uh, he can basically stay right where he's at, provide a spawn point, as well as preventing anybody from uh, really moving around on that bottom level as uh, Neo is still going to be up top looking for any of those kills. Now, they do have plenty of cover inside, so they're going to be able to uh, pretty much stay away from the chopper at the moment. Uh, but uh, Puncher will be able to pick up one. See if you can find anybody transitioning back over here to those lower levels. Not yet. 
a too easy. Also, we're beginning to spawn off on him. Asterix, uh, gonna be looking at where is this last guy? We have unfixed down below. And they should be able to uh, hold off on the C flag fairly easily. Uh, we do have that Bravo flag, though, that uh, has been, I mean, it, the water has been lowered down. So I would like to be seeing somebody, I'm sorry, over on Alpha. Would like to be some, seeing somebody over onto A, maybe pressuring that, that right now as this action is just really, really intense here onto that B flag. We're seeing safe up above here, uh, winning out onto the burn currently. So they have grayed out this C flag. Unfix is going to be down below, but nobody's really gone over to A yet. That that little bird really doing its job. It's going to be Neo here as he's preventing any kind of a transition to that alpha flag to, to try and take it back. So I like the way he's playing uh, currently. He's going to be able to take down a lot of these players who are trying to weasel their way back in onto that A push. Nobody's going to be able to do much of anything at all. And there we go. We're going to see one player uh, coming back in. That's going to be Ducky Chan going down and potentially going for this three cap here uh, to even things up. The LAV, though, from Mort. Mort's like, you know what? Screw it. We're not going to win out on C flag. We're going to be going straight for Bravo. Work will be able to get the spawns in. Try and cover a little bit of, uh, a little bit of rockets going down that way. But uh, Neo, oh my god, this is going to be just... This is going to be so easy for him. Oh, no, no, he's getting taken down. He's getting stingers in him, and he has to fly away. He will be able to survive there narrowly, though. 37 health left onto that little bird, so not a whole lot. But uh, as we do see that, Asterix is going to be coming back in here with a couple of uh, reinforcements to try and take back this B flag. Alpha Bravo. <laughs> I thought he suicide there for a second, but he didn't. Uh, safe is going to be in a very bad pinch here. Spots out drunks. We'll be able to take him down. But the... Infantry there, just too much. Can't really do much about it. As uh, Neo coming in to save the day, he's got that. Uh, he's got that horn on it. Uh, da, 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 Flight of the Valkyries. There we go. He's got Flight of the Valkyries playing, man, and uh, he's just ripping them up right now. Just going on, going off on. He is 12 and 2 currently. And uh, B flag will be returning back into their possession. We're going to be seeing drunks coming back over here. Onto that B site, so you can get a couple of uh, rockets coming back in. We have Value Taja with his stingers. It's like, finally, I get to put the stingers to the test and try them out. I don't get to use these in 5v5s. <laughs> uh, we do see more, or uh, we do see the LAV down below, still onto that B flag. Uh, we'll be going back and forth. Transition here onto that C flag is going to be coming in. Uh, David, the only one playing defense, will go down. Well, we do see Marsu back up here as well. 109 to 153. So they have evened it up uh, quite a bit. It was about a 100 ticket deficit there at one point. So not too bad. Taking about 30, uh, 30 or 40 tickets here. As we do see a massive spawn bomb coming back in and unfixed. It's going to be gearing up for a push up above. They do know that there are people there. And waiting for them. Punch will also going to be down below. Uh, here we go. Duke PT getting taken out too easy. Uh, ooh, nice shot there onto Marsus shooting him through the leaves there. And his teammate's going to be spotting out one down below as well. It's going to be David 2K going down. So the only player up will be Asterix. And uh, remember, guys, this is for graphics cards. So they definitely do want to win this. And uh, both of these, or all of these players on both of these teams are very, very competitive. I've gone back and forth many, many a times. So as uh, that C flag will still be getting contested, going back and forth through each of those teams' hands. With Neo up top, we do see Mort responding back in with his LAV, deciding that uh, he's going to go for the other. Don't really know how much damage he's going to be able to do. Ooh, takes his tow missile there. That's going to that's gonna soak him down quite a bit. 12 health left onto this LAV. Oh, eight, and uh, one more shot should take him down with a small and one health he is going out so nice pickups there uh, for Thane as they will be able to take down Mort and Neo is still going to be back up in this little bird I like the way they're losing the little bird so uh, what they've basically been doing with the little bird is they've been uh, not only have they been con uh, constricting where the movement can go for uh, casual gaming what they've been able to do is uh, get drops consistently off onto the C flag and uh, they're able to pester it without fail. And it's really, really been difficult here for casual gaming to do anything about that. And we're seeing safe uh, going down. Uh, we will be seeing a punch roll back up, trying to follow his tracks. Duke PT also going to be coming back over here onto that C flag. It is now grayed out and going into possession here of casual gaming. So they do have a chance to, uh, to start uh, getting this bleed back into their favor. 88 tickets to 107. Oh my god, Duke PT doesn't know where he wants to go. 
He's looking left and right. He's getting contested from both sides. Shots coming in. He spots out one. Oh, nice pick up there onto Drunks. Narrowly misses the nade. We're also going to be seeing the LAV pushing back up here as well. There's not really much that these infantry players can do. Look at this. Uh, they are going to be completely surrounded here. And we will be seeing a lot of splash damage coming in. Oh, no. He I actually go down, and he does. He loses his LAV. Oh, too easy there. Waiting for him. We'll be able to get the pick up there with the, uh, with the gun. What was David doing? Did David seriously just let a guy go? I swear. It looked like he pointed his gun at him. It's just like, nope. Um, <laughs> uh, we will be seeing C Flag going back to the favor here of Thane. As uh, David 2K going to try and pick up a two piece. We'll be able to get one. Not the second one. Doesn't end up going down. But they're completely surrounded. And they will get wiped. Do we have anybody going over for the Alpha Flag? Honestly, I think they've just given up trying to go over for A. Uh, Neo's done such a great job of uh, containing them inside this uh, this alpha flag that uh, there's really not much that they can do too easy he's going to be down below here he does get some spawns off in him uh, safe is going to be able to get a couple of shots in him as well and uh, here we go we're going to be going for a potential three cap as we do see casual gaming starting to slip a little bit they will be losing the lead and Thane is starting to come back Flax is going to be able to pick up one that's going to be safe going down a flag going to be safe for now. B flag getting heavily contested as we do have the LAV pushing back in. I would imagine that is a Mort here. He's going to try and finish this off, but we have so many rockets coming in for Thane, and they will be able to take him down. B flag will be returning into their possession. We have one lone gunman that's going to be unfixed here to try to take on the world by himself, and the world slapped him and said no. Neo is going to be able to get a couple of reps going off, but it is going to open this up as too easy should get a uh, transfer over here on the backside of that Bravo flag. And he is going to be able to do just actually catch Hork out of position. And unfortunately, I don't think spawn beacons are allowed, or I would say just pop down a couple of spawn beacons uh, up into those towers, but I don't think you can do that. Too easy, though, failing out on trying to uh, clear out that B site, as uh, we do see safe getting taken down, trying to play defense onto B flag. Will not happen. Finally, we are going to be seeing B flag going into their favor, as uh, also the C flag getting contested. So there's going to be no flags here for Thane. And casual gamers are going to be able to start getting this uh, two-fly bleed into their, uh, on their side. Oh, beautiful RPG there from Too Easy. We'll be able to take down the little bird. So annoying as, uh, oh my god, he was 20 and 3 beasting it. And uh, now we're going to be seeing the little bird instantly taken over here. Once again, he's probably going to be waiting for the spawns to come back in. Yeah, there you go. Neo can be spawned back into that little bird, and he is instantly back up. So, sorry, too easy. Your RPG was for naught. Oh, can you do it again? Oh, I was about to say, if he does it again, that's just going to be awesome. Uh, Unfix is going to be the only player back up here to uh, to try and play a little bit of defense. They did take control of that C flag. They have control of Alpha, so uh, they can bottle them up back up into B flag. They can basically do like what we saw at the beginning of the match. And you know what I would like to see too is uh, uh, possibly a very big push here from uh, Thane onto that Alpha Flag. It's been left relatively alone for the majority of the match. Now, we are going to be seeing quite a few players sitting on top of the C Flag. And yes, that Little Bird is going to be able to do massive amounts of damage, but uh, they could still kind of sneak the LAV over there towards A, get a couple of spawns off on him, and uh, try and just contain him over here onto Charlie Flag. 45 tickets left to go for casual gamers. They do have that uh, two-flag bleed currently. And they could come out with the win here. Drunks does end up going down. We are going to be seeing the LAV popping back up as uh, David 2K going to be following here. And that KD is just so brutal right there. You know, really, I mean, like, 25-3. and three, That's just ridiculous, man. He is just going off on him. 17 tickets left to 41. They're going to have to really play tight here as uh, Mort will be spawning back in with his LAV. Going to be fighting a lot. Of, oh, got to watch out for the slams. No, the slams will take him down. Beautiful slam placement. And he just did not know what hit him. So that will be no reinforcements for the LAV. That's a huge deal right there, guys, especially since they are winning out currently on the bleed. 30 tickets left here for casual gaming. 
and Ducky Chan will be getting onto that C burn. He is all alone, but B is also getting contested, and this is the time to shine here for their little bird pilot. Oh, he gets taken down! He gets taken down there. Who was that? That was Mort this time taking down the little bird, and this could be the saving grace here. This could be the winning moment for casual gamers if they can hold on to this Bravo point and cap it over, and they have done just that. 15 to 16 tickets. It is all tied up. The LAV goes down, and uh, the infantry players are just rolling in with no protection whatsoever and we may have just seen casual gaming winning out here at the last seconds of the match by just a few tickets and it really comes down to the fact of uh, taking down that little bird that was a huge play from Mort getting that RPG kill congratulations what a way to end a round right there and uh, yeah so we are going to be seeing casual gamers going into the second round with the 16 ticket advantage it's not much but it is definitely something. They do have that round win, and that is what you want to have. I do apologize there, guys. I did have the tickets from the last match up there, so it's probably a little confusing for you guys, but that's okay. That's okay, because the ending of that was epic. 27-5, and five, though. What? That's ridiculous with the little bird. That's just stupid. I'm sorry. That's just stupid. Um, but, uh, <laughs> you know, hey, give it up to Too Easy and Mort. They both got RPG kills on the little bird. So kudos to them. Uh, they did a great job there. Uh, Mort having a little bit of issues in the LAV. Honestly, he didn't do much of anything at all. Now, I know he's a support role. But, uh, I mean, really, he, he just he was shut down for the most part, especially there onto the sea flag. We really didn't see him do much of anything at all. And uh, so, yeah, very good games. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, very good games there from both of the teams. Uh, will be interesting to see how they break out in this next round. Now, um, especially with the way Fnatic – or not Fnatic. Casual Gamers played that. Casual Gamers played that very well, in my opinion. I think that they, they focused a little bit too much there on C-Flag when they could have transitioned to B a little bit earlier. Um, but they did a very good job of holding on that Alpha Burn. And, I mean, they just they didn't let the water down. They, they kept it up the entire time. And it forces the other team to have to basically just throw bodies at it over and over and over and over again. And uh, they were really, really, really successful in that, in that situation. Uh, we're still seeing Punchrel here. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> he's going to be uh, squeaking his way all the way up to the alpha side. And look at this, Asterix. Asterix, he's like he's like the golden boy. He's like he's like the kid that never breaks rules. He's like, no, no, I can't do that. That's wrong. I'm not supposed to. But Punchel's like, screw this, guys. We're going straight for that alpha push. I don't care. <laughs> and they will be able to get on foot to A really, really quick here as uh, Asher's going to be following it back up. And uh, does he have any help? He does have a couple of sponsors. Oh, he can't get in through there. Oh, this is a huge, huge deal. And oh, no, no, safe does figure it back out. Asterix just... Uh, you know, had a little trouble getting up on top of the ridge. Uh, we are going to be seeing that Alpha Flag heavily contested. Tugs are going to be popped down. Uh, safe is going to be up inside. Nobody. Uh, or actually, we did see... Who was that? That was uh, Casual Gamers taking control of the Alpha Flag. Now, they are going to be able to get the wipes here onto Thane. I don't think anybody's up. Uh, no, nobody is up. Nobody's been able to get the Little Bird as well. As uh, B Flag has been taken. We do see uh, Neo over here. Going to be playing very sneaky on the backside. Not... Electing to shoot at the uh, LAV. Ooh, he is spotted out, though. Don't challenge, don't challenge, don't challenge. And he doesn't get him. Uh, I thought there for a second with him waiting there, he could have been able to pick that up. And I'm fixed actually getting a nice two-piece there. So kudos to him. Uh, Moore is going to be playing very, very passively here. On to the bridge. Going to be trying to hold back uh, that push uh, from, uh, from Thane currently, as they will be able to get onto the B flag. But how dangerous is this really going to be? I mean, he's going to be already throwing away one of his tow missiles. Mort could push him right now if he wanted to. He's still at 100 health, so he's not looking too darn bad at the moment. But his APS has already been popped. We will be seeing some rocket play coming out. Uh, the infantry players are going to be getting backraged as well. If you take a look here, they're going to be getting pinched from both sides. Rocket play will be able to take him down. That was going to be Flax there with a nice pickup. And he's going to be trying to finish out this infantry players. We'll be able to take down one. That's Ducky Champ taking down a second second one will be safe and now the little bird is going to be back up here in the possession here of uh, Neo once again and let's see if he's going to be able to uh, help out onto this B flag he will be able to oh my god that's just like yes take me now uh, doesn't get any of those players but uh, we'll see how he actually fares here 
RPGs are going to be back out, pointed up towards the sky. There's another one. There's two kills. Oh my god, and we're going to be seeing Asterix getting the nice small kill with those slams onto the LAV. So just action everywhere right now. And uh, the drops coming back in onto that B flag. Currently, we are going to be seeing casual gamers with a three-piece or a triple cap. At the moment, B flag will be getting grayed back out. Where are the spawns coming back in? We do not see it. No spawns are going to be coming back in. They have populated up inside the towers. They do have control of that alpha flag once again. And uh, we are going to be seeing that beacon heavily, heavily contested. Garage uh, was taken for a few seconds, but uh, it is now in their possession once again. Unfixed, getting completely slammed there. Lots of players there. Going to be waiting for a push onto that B flag. David 2K also going to be back up. Now, with them having this little bird, it's really going to be difficult uh, for them to uh, to lose this B flag. I mean, honestly, I don't really... S what? No. No. Too easy. You're going to be able to take him down once again. Sorry I missed that, guys. I heard the explosion, but we did miss it. So Neo getting a little bit too aggressive with that little bird. Probably should have held off. Maybe been a little bit higher altitudes uh, before he did push in onto that B flag. But a massive infantry fight is going to be coming in here now as uh, we do see that B site being uh, grayed out in just a few seconds. No, we do see it cancel down. But uh, they did get up into the tower. So nice play here from Thane. Going to be able to clear out all of the spawns, potential spawns, that could come from the towers. But at the same time, we're seeing a massive spawn bomb coming back in onto the B site. And uh, coming around the backside, Value Taja doesn't get taken down. Uh, Ducky Chan has no chance here. Yo, he does survive! Thought he was going to get shot from station there for a second. And that is going to be it. B flag will be staying into the possession here of Thane. And really, no push over here onto that C flag. Mort's going to be back up into his LAV. Where does he actually go? Is the water still up? Let's take a look. The water is the water is still up. So we could be seeing the LAV just kind of floating across. Very slow and casual-like. Maybe try and get up onto the ridge here. But uh, right now he is going to be electing to go for these long-range battles. And I really don't see much coming out of him. Uh, we are going to be seeing the APS being popped right there. So uh, nice timing. He will be able to stop that and delay dying for just a few seconds. Oh, narrowly escapes that rocket as we do see two players transitioning back over and uh, that last rocket did end up killing him back out he was like you know what screw it Hork. uh you can die i'm going to live little bird is going to be back up we should be seeing some spawns coming down onto that alpha flag that's exactly what's happening as uh, oh we do see a recon kit coming in here and safe's probably like all right a recon kit that means that i have an easy time of killing him unless he has a deagle and then and then he doesn't uh, but uh, nice spawns coming back in here onto that alpha flag. We'll be able to help secure it. But really looking good right now for Thane. It is 137 to 173. They have come out to quite a big lead. And what they've basically done is flipped. Uh, they, they flipped the strat on casual gamers. You know, th they were like, well, we'll take alpha flag. It'll be almost impossible to cap back over. And then we'll just kind of push B or C. And we'll contain you at one of those flags. Well... That is not going to be the case here. Uh, we are seeing Thane doing a great job on uh, being able to contain them at the Alpha Flag. Because the water is still up, they can't really run around or use an LAV uh, to go onto the ground and, and, and uh, move about. They have to swim across, which is going to slow them down considerably. And uh, they're not able really to reinforce any particular spot on the map that well. Uh, safe is going to be back up. We are going to be seeing uh, Flax, though, uh, taking a little bit of slack here onto the parking garage. Uh, we do see one, two, three players here from uh, Thane who will be uh, able to push back up into C-Flag, trying to play a little bit of defense. 99 to 165, so they have a massive lead at the moment. And remember, uh, Thane does have to win by 17 tickets or more, but it's only 17 tickets, and uh, they do have a little bit of breathing room here. So they're not in too much of a, uh, I guess you say, a trouble. But uh, Hork will be able to spot out one more up above. He's not going to be able to connect with those shots. You see David 2K down below as well as uh, Safe. So all of the players right now for Thane are down below in the lower levels. While we do have casual gamers up above. So casual gaming is going to be just fine with uh, just kind of a chillaxing up top. I mean, they're going to be getting a couple of their picks. We could be seeing some potential spawn bombs coming in here as well. Do we have any transition on the B flag? Nobody's... Oh, Mort is going to be trying to go over here on the B flag. But look at this. We have slams as well as mines just all over the place. And if Mort tries to push down onto that B site, there is no way that he's going to be able to have 
any, any survivability. He will die instantly. Instantly. Uh, Neo will be able to spot out a couple of players down below. Ducky Chan still going to be up top. Nice pickup there onto Marsu. But the little bird did find him. And oh, he goes down. Too easy. Oh my god, man. This is too, too easy. Like, seriously, too easy. Uh, gets another RPG kill on the little bird. Like, I should just watch him the entire time. Where is too easy? Yeah, where? No, no, too easy die. Why, why'd you die too easy? You, you're not supposed to die. Uh, but uh, the C push did, uh, it was successful here for a few seconds. Unfortunately, the spawn bombs did come in here for it, and they will be able to clean this up as uh, Valutaja did get back rage there. Only one player left back up to try and do anything for this C flag. I almost think it's not worth it at this point. Uh, maybe uh, have a massive spawn bomb here on Punchrel. And and if they can bomb this this LAV, that actually would be a good idea. If they can bomb this LAV here on B flag, allow Mort to... Uh, Mort, Mort did just lose two of his uh, reppers there. Uh, but if they can allow Mort to push it back up here onto that Bravo flag, help out a little bit, uh, they could take back this Bravo site. Valutaji now going to be playing a little bit of peekaboo with the LAV. LAV does end up going down. That's going to be Mort there, able to take him down. So nice pickups there. Uh, we will be seeing a couple of infantry players here kind of smushed in between. B-Flag is going to be getting grayed out. Two players going to be up inside the towers. Mort's going to be up above trying to get a couple of shots on him will not be successful and it does look like Thane is going to be able to push them back off of this Bravo site once again looking really really good at the moment 49 tickets to 111 casual gamers have got to be a little bit scared here guys as they could potentially lose this and uh, Horrocks is going to have to re, uh, re push over here onto that B site they did end up getting the cap which is exactly what they want and they're going to be pushing over here onto the Alpha flag Nobody is on A currently to try and clean that up. Only one player left back up. That's going to be Punchrel, the only player alive currently for casual gamers. Back behind this Bravo point. That is definitely not a good situation. Ooh, the little bird is up. We are going to be seeing Neo instantly taken down there as uh, he did try to get that up, but not fast enough. A flag did return into the possession here of casual gamers. We have Unfixed playing some defense there. Onto Alpha. Still haven't taken down the water just yet. And Value Taj going to be looking for these last couple of players. Neo is going to be spawning back in over here onto that B site. 18 tickets for 101. This is uh, all but over here, guys. They're going to have to pull out a freaking miracle in order to uh, to win this. I don't think they're going to be able to do just that. As they have been very, very dominant for the rest of the match. But that B flight is relatively open here. And there's going to be a three-man push gearing up for it. And yeah, they are going to be uh, losing out to the gray. Uh, Drunks is going to be back up. We'll be able to pick up one. Should be able to get the second one as well. Uh, he doesn't actually go for Marsu. Marsu is going to be left alone. And he has to know that Drunks is right across the way. Yep, that is going to be bye-bye, Drunks. 11 tickets left to 84. B-Flag is going to be getting uh, grayed out. We will be seeing uh, the LAV pushing back up here. And that is going to be the nail in the coffin, guys. So congratulations. I'm going to call it right now. I'm calling it right now that uh, House of Thane will be your winners. Seven tickets left here. And that is going to be a GG is going to be thrown out. So congratulations to House of Thane. They will be taking home eight graphics cards, 290X. So awesome stuff there. Um, but, uh, yeah, so congratulations. And uh, thank you guys for coming out and watching. This has been, once again, the ESL Dragon's Teeth Launch Cup 8v8 Conquest. Uh, if you did enjoy the content, definitely head on over to the website. Uh, check them out.